Hey everyone uh, and welcome to another one of my crazy videos here. Uh, I'm gonna start doing a little bit of uh, what I call uh, shoot around, Sunday shoot around or weekend shoot around or something like that. Just to get out here a little bit more uh, for you guys who follow my channel. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of uh, bushcraft or anything. But it's hunting season here in Connecticut. Today is, uh, what is today? Let's see. <laughs> September 26th, 2020, and uh, yes, 2020, that year that uh, I think by now everybody wants to forget and put behind, and uh, I actually can't complain, it's, uh, you know, I'm healthy, I'm, uh, everybody's been well, uh, this whole COVID crap is, uh, you know, still around, but, uh, you know, we're, we're taking care of ourselves and taking care of our health, but it's starting to get old, uh, luckily, uh, you know, I'm involved in uh, shooting sports and hunting and all of these different things. You know, the apiary, which you can see part of it behind me. And uh, so I keep busy and uh, that way I keep myself sane and keep my sanity going. But, uh, you know, can't complain too much. We've, we've, uh, we've been healthy, family as well. And, and, you know, what else can we ask for, right? Um, today I'm going to go out and uh, shoot another gun. So the name of these uh, videos is going to be uh, Shoot Around or Shooting the Breeze. Uh, I think it's going to be Shooting the Breeze. I think I like that. Hmm. The monthly Shooting the Breeze videos. Uh, today I'm going to, I'm excited, I actually picked up a, a new gun uh, and uh, that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And it's something, I love revolvers. Those of you who know me personally know I love revolvers and I like different guns. Um, and I picked up a new uh, Smith & Wesson. I have a lot of the Smith & Wessons. I have 357 Magnums, 38 Special, all of that stuff. Um, but I picked up a new toy today. Quote unquote toy, right? Uh, that, that I want to share with you. And it shoots these missiles over here. You guys know what that is? Any idea? Let's see if you can, uh, let's see if the camera will catch what that is. Smith & Wesson 500, technically a 50 caliber, uh, but that's what it is. And I'll show it to you. Let's put this thing away. And there we go. So this is the gun that I will be shooting today. And I'll try to do a lot of these videos down at the range. And that way you guys can... And now, of course, I got a B on me. Okay, B. Be gotta be trying to get us anyway. Smith and Wesson 500, big caliber. So this gun, uh, these guns, you know, is uh, sure to uh, kick back like a mule. Uh, supposed to be the most powerful handgun on the market on the market so we'll see and I got a bee that just doesn't want to leave me alone right now this is see this is the adventures of being a beekeeper okay that one's done anyway let's check out this bee yeah that bee was a pisser Anyway, uh, so I'm going to take down the uh, gun down to the range, take the kids down, we'll take the shotgun, we'll take the AR-15, you know, the guns that we use for uh, home protection. Uh, I'm a firm believer of having th at least three guns for home protection. Uh, and uh, especially now, I mean, we live in the city, in the out in, uh, outskirts of, of a big city. And uh, if you guys use that uh, neighbors app, uh, you see we were seeing some things in our neighborhoods that are not, not, uh, you know, not too cool, you know. And uh, and there's our Riley. Riley, come up here. Come say hello. Anyway, uh, home evasions, uh, 
cars getting broken in, you know, people are getting desperate. I mean, you've always had a little bit of that, but people are getting desperate and uh, it's just uh, really, really uh, a concern. So I have three guns that I always make sure or recommend everybody to, to have. Some of you know I'm also an NRA instructor and uh, it's something that I really enjoy teaching other people uh, you know how to safely handle firearms and also uh, you know educate people about our second amendment which is a, a very very important uh, amendment uh, without it I believe uh, you know all the other amendments will be gone so you know that's another topic but uh, handgun shotgun an AR-15 in my opinion my humble opinion is uh, something that everybody should have in the house for home defense. And I always say, you know, you need you have your handgun to get to your shotgun, and your shotgun is your means to get to your AR-15. So uh, in, in my house, we all shoot, and we all have, uh, you know, a plan in case uh, of a home evasion. Um, you know, we have security around the whole house. Uh, we have cameras, we have lighting, we have uh, security service, ADT, you know, all of that stuff. Uh, but, you know, at a last resort, uh, the wife gets the shotgun, uh, the son gets the AR-15, and I'm pretty f proficient with my, my handguns, so, um, you know, we keep everything handy, ready to go. Uh, everything is, is digital, you know, and uh, I can have access to you. Um, my guns in a split second uh, if, if uh, alarm goes off or the dogs start barking or anything uh, unfortunately you know I don't want to sound paranoid but I guess uh, you know it's the world we're living in uh, we're getting a lot of we're seeing a lot more and more uh, crime unrest and uh, it's it's you know it's unfortunately the reality of things so, you know, I'm going to try to keep these videos not too huge, but, you know, um, if you guys have any topics I'd like, you'd like me to talk about, please uh, post them down below in the, uh, in the YouTube uh, uh, thing there. And, um, and I hope I don't mumble too much, but, uh, you know, yeah, I think that's uh, something that I, I enjoy doing and I uh, just just want to share my thoughts and I, I would be glad and I'm curious to hear your thoughts um, but yeah so uh, you know when it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an interesting next few uh, weeks a couple months uh, we're, we're getting into the uh, you know election elections are upon us it's September October it's gonna be interesting November <laughs> I don't know um, I have uh, good friends in the law enforcement uh, uh, world that are already telling us that uh, there's going to be a lot of civil unrest caused by these Antifa uh, idiots um, and, uh, and and so we'll see we'll see what happens um, it, it's going to be interesting I can tell you this uh, my family and I are well prepared and I hope your family and yourself is well prepared and if not that you're taking steps to uh, you know, prepare yourselves for for what could be civil unrest in this country. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. It, hopefully this too shall pass. Um, but uh, I think we're going to have some civil unrest, which we already do. But I think it's going to get worse. Uh, I really, I really believe it's going to get worse. Uh, I hope not. And uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And there comes another bee trying to get me. Jeez, I must have really sat in the wrong spot here. Come on, girls. Either that or they don't like my haircut. I just got a new haircut today. Pretty short. Anyway, uh, so everything is good and, and uh, you know, we're, we're keeping busy. You know, I'm doing the uh, NRA classes. I am doing the, my, my job as a beekeeper. You know, at least trying to do it. Uh, my web design marketing company is pretty much stopped. This old COVID situation uh, has got a lot of us uh, just, you know, not doing a lot. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, businesses are closing up, and uh, you know, this is causing, 
a tremendous impact in the economy and uh, it's also what's probably causing an uprise in, uh, in crime. Uh, you know, people are getting very desperate. Um, otherwise, hey, uh, we have faith in God, we have faith in the family, we're staying together and uh, we're going to keep, uh, keep on fighting here, keep on moving forward or at least trying to. So, so that's that. As for the guns, yeah, I uh, love shooting, so every time I have a chance I acquire something new. I've had these uh, gun, uh, you know, sitting in the safe for a little bit, and, uh, you know, prices of ammo right now are just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. I mean, it's going to cost me, for you to do this video, it's going to cost me, I mean, I've had some, I, I have some rounds saved up for, uh, for this. But it's, I calculated it was like $2.75 per round. So every time you take a shot with one of these things, there goes $2.75. So, you know, that, that uh, is not something you, you know, you're going to go out shooting a lot. You know, this is a gun for, you know, go out to Alaska and uh, protect yourself from a grizzly bear. Uh, something like that is obviously obviously not a gun you're gonna carry for self-defense you know you could, could you just imagine walking down the street with you know with this thing and it's quite uh, I'll have to get one of these uh, holsters one of these crazy holsters look like you know but if you go out to Wyoming Alaska places like that where they're dealing with uh, grizzly bear or brown bear Kodiak bear it's uh, then that's a whole different story you know, you're not going to stop a, an animal like that with a 45, maybe a 10 millimeter. I know it's 10, 10 millimeters become pretty popular up there, but you know, 45, huh? You know, you, <laughs> it's going to be a little, a little difficult. Uh, so, but when you use something like this, now you're talking a lot more power, you know, and uh, and, and and you're definitely going to, going to, you know, stop a predator like that from. Uh, making a, a soup out of you you know so so up there you get you get to see these a lot and that's the beauty of uh, living in Alaska or Wyoming Montana you know uh, it's a lot of, uh, it's it's a lot of fun a lot of great hunting too if you like hunting uh, my son and I my son Lucas and I have, have been doing a lot of uh, deer hunting and uh, you know um, you know it's been it's been interesting I haven't caught anything yet this year uh, I think uh, we have access to a nice, a nice uh, 50 acre piece of land, but um, you know it's nothing like going out to Wyoming or you know s some big ranges where you you got to take some horses with you to go get some uh, some elk or uh, you know some big game you know. So, so anyway, so that's the uh, that's where we are. So we're gonna go to the range. We're gonna take a few of the guns out and uh, do some shooting, take the shotgun, take the AR-15, take the uh, Smith & Wesson 500 and uh, see what happens. Let's go have some fun. All right, very good. I'll see you guys at the range. Normally I'm gonna do these videos from the range but today was a little bit of a weird, weird crazy day and the kids wanted to go shoot with me so you know I have, I have had to uh, you know uh, change things up a little bit get creative here but okay so without further ado i will see you at the range with yes you named it you, you guessed it the big boy here smith and wesson 500. i can see i'm gonna get my ass kicked on these one heavy gun all right guys i'll see you at the range All right, guys, we're here at the uh, range, getting ready to shoot this thing, and let's load these torpedoes and see what happens. Nice and warm out here today. I'm also sweating because I kid you not, I'm a little nervous, but let's have some fun. Got my boys out here, Oliver and Lucas, helping me out, and we're going to try to shoot these beasts. See what happens. Here we go. You guys, ready?
Let's do one up closer, like that. Ah, <laughs> I am flinching too. <laughs> All right, that was crazy. But Smith and Wesson 500, basically 50 caliber. Oh, you feel it in the wrist, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> very, very nice. Powerful, powerful gun. Holy cow! <laughs> this is this is powerful. You wanna try it? Sure. Alright. <laughs> so I'm gonna put one in there for you. How's the how's the trigger? Oh, trigger is like nice. soft. Poof, nice. It goes so. Alright, so make sure your fingers off the trigger at all times, okay, until you're really ready. And get a good grip on that gun. Ali, over there please. You ready? Yeah. Really, really good grip. Fix your thumbs. <laughs> it's not too bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, the teenager shoot, says. Not too bad. Yeah, that's fun. Let me shoot one more. <laughs> right, can I shoot, uh, how many is it, five? Yeah. Can I shoot five? I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, just. I, I'm, yeah. It's my hand, you know, I let grip. Yeah. It's a beast. Definitely not a gun you want to shoot all day. I wonder if I could shoot it one-handed. <laughs> My son says no. Uh, what do you think? Can I do it? I think it's going to kick back at you hit you in the head. All right, we're going to do one-handed shot. Uh. Here we go. What do you think, Oliver? One-handed? Uh. You don't think so, Lucas? No, I wouldn't. I think kicks enough with two hands. All right, guys. One ended. You know, you start getting used to the gun and you start feeling a little bit more confident, and it's you know, it's still bad, but it's not as bad. Maybe you're not scared of the gun anymore, but uh, yeah, definitely a gun that you need to respect because this thing is a kicker. Smith & Wesson 500, beautiful, beautiful gun. And uh, we used to think 357 Magnum was fun, but let me tell you, this thing kicks ass. Not a toy, that's for sure. And not for the beginner. So, lots of fun.
You're empty? 